Good morning. I thought I'd face a different direction this morning. Oh, but look. I got Grayson shaved yesterday. Grayson, you want to look up? Yes. He looks like half the dog that he was, doesn't he? Oh, but he's got this velvety feel to him. Yes, you do. He's having his breakfast. Good job, Gray Gray. So, in some ways, he may not look so cute and fuzzy and muppety, but I think he's going to be a lot more comfortable in the hot weather that we have here in South Georgia. So, this is what I thought I would do this morning. I've got in my spinner a couple of these... Um, Completa, oh, La Completa Refinada, which is the Nicaragua coffee that has the fruity notes to it. And uh, this is, let's see, it's a double espresso. Didn't really care for it that much. I don't usually care for the fruity coffees. Oh, good morning, Jessica. Hey, if you're watching, tell me, um, say something. Tell me what state or country you're watching from. That would be so interesting to hear. So I am in the state of Georgia in the United States of America, way down south, almost to Florida. So anyhow, I didn't really care for this, but I opened up some peach skinny syrup. Now, um, I was having this last night with some milk, with some coconut almond milk. Oh, it was so yummy, a really nice before bed treat. Well, I thought this morning, hey, this has a fruity kind of, supposed to have fruity tones to it, or notes, notes, tones. They use the word notes, don't they? Oh, hey, Gary, good morning. So anyhow, I thought, I have several fruit syrups. I've got strawberry, cherry, peach, hibiscus, passion flower, lavender, mm, something, something with lavender, I can't remember. Anyway, well, lavender's not a fruit, but you know, fruit, floral, that sort of thing. So I thought, I'm gonna make the coffee black. And I'm gonna just give a little taste and see what about putting in a fruit syrup. I happen to have the peach sitting on the counter. Maybe that'll work. So, okay. It's really nice that I can make an espresso, or this is a double espresso. That's just twice the amount of a single espresso. That I can make that without, um, you know, having to have the whole machine and, uh, you know, working out how much pressure to use and how much to tamp in. And I don't have to get anything right. All I need to be able to do is put the capsule in and close and lock the lid and push a button. And it's really quick too. So look at this. And what's lovely is this forms crema like espresso does because this, you know, traditional espresso, because of it being formed under pressure. Now, in the original line of the Nespresso coffee machines, uh, there actually is direct pressure used in this. This is a Virtuo. This makes um, a wider range of coffee sizes from 1.35 ounce espresso up to a 14 ounce Alto. Um, Oh, good morning, Christine. So, this one works by spinning that capsule. So this little thing goes in there and it whoo, spins around at like super duper high speeds. Okay, so here is my La Cumplida Refinada. I don't speak Spanish. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly, but I gave it my best shot. So I'm gonna take a little, oh wait, you know, oh, here's a spoon. So 
you should always mix in, mix back in that crema, the foam that forms on top as best you can. It's interesting. You could learn to like just about anything, right? I, If I had to drink this every morning, if I had no other choice, I would drink this rather than nothing. But it's a little bit like on the back of the roof of my mouth. Just uh, that's where I know you, I don't think you have taste buds there, but I just feel a kind of a... Uh, <laughs> can't describe it. Look, I'm going to live a little dangerously here. I'm going to take this Jordan's Peach Skinny Syrup. Okay. So that's a little bit. Let me stir it up. You know, with most things, probably you put in enough sweet stuff, it'll taste good, right? I read once, somebody made a comment that a, uh, a coffee they tried tasted like medicine to them and I almost wish I hadn't read that. Okay, coffee, coffee. It's coffee, not medicine. Aha, uh -huh. I know. Oh, good morning, Lori. Okay, if y'all are watching, tell us where you're from, what state or what country. Here, let me get some milk. Because... The flavor, the, the notes, the whatever it is that makes me go like that <laughs> will be dulled a little bit by milk. So, all right, there we go. This is coconut almond milk. That's my favorite kind of milk. I really, I like the taste of it. It's got a little bit of a thickness to it. All right, now listen, this is drinkable, okay? But that's all I can say. I think that it's pretty well established that some people like the fruity floral coffees and some people like the more intense, woody, chocolatey, smoky coffees. I'm the wood chocolate smoke person. I am not the fruity floral person. Now, I only have two cups a day, and I have them both in the morning because otherwise it affects my sleep. So listen, you know that I rarely will throw out coffee. It just doesn't taste right to me. It does not taste right. But, okay, remember, there are those of you who like a fruity, floral taste. And you may love this um, La Completa Refinada. You know, you may just love it. But I just cannot get my head around this. I, oh, I've got one more capsule there. Oh, I'll give it to my daughter or son-in-law. <laughs> um, so let's see. Oh, Christine is from the UK. Wow. That's the United Kingdom, if you didn't know. Oh, my goodness. That's so exciting. Let's see. Who else is from where? I know Gary is from New York. He and I went to elementary school together. And 
Um, Jessica's from Michigan. Lori, I can't remember where you're from. Tell us where you're from. And if anyone else is watching, chime on in here with uh, where you're from. Oh, that's right. Lori's from New York, too. Okay. So, I need to have a different kind of coffee this morning. I need something something that I... Well, what am I doing? I have... I, I forgot. I've got my coffee in the drawers now. In those... Sorry about that. <laughs> Yes, this is why people watch live videos, because you never know what's going to happen. You never know when you're going to get suddenly dropped off into a candle. Thank heavens the candle wasn't lit, right? Okay, oh, and Avis is watching from Rhode Island. All right, let me turn it around. All right, here we go. So let's see what we've got. We'll start the, oh, double espresso scuro. I love that. This is... Oh, Costa Rica. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? Okay, this is Alto Intenso. That's the 14-ounce one. And that's the coconut, which actually is better over ice. Okay. I've got a decaf. I do not want decaf in the morning. Oh, Bianco Forte. That's made to have with milk. Oh, wait a minute. Behind the decaf is Fortado. That used to be my favorite, but my tastes have changed. Isn't that interesting? And then up here, we, oh, chocolate fudge. I saved that for a second cup. This is, what is this? Oh, is this more double espresso scuro? And this is, oh, Diavolito. Oh, and that is Altissio. You know what? If that's double espresso scuro, then what's this? Double espresso scuro. Okay. So, obviously, we know what my favorite is. Oh, you know what I had? It was in a color like the Costa Rica. I had some Audacia. Oh, here it is, hiding behind the Alta. Okay. This is... Odasio. This is a, oh, okay, good. 7.77 .77 ounces. And let me turn this around here. And so this is on my original, this was from the sampler packet that I got when I first got my machine. Audacio. It's an intensity of seven. Okay. Now, oh, Christine says, she, oh, she enjoyed a lovely Altissio this morning. I like the Altissio, the Diabolito. Oh. Well, hey, Grayson. You want to go outside, don't you? Look at how skinny you look now. Look at those skinny legs. Are you still a regal dog? Oh, can you wait till I have a decent cup of coffee and then we'll go out? Okay. Grayson, well, he's following me, okay. Okay, you wait just a minute, okay? Can you wait? All right. I've got to make at least, you know, have a little bit of decent coffee this morning. All right. Odessio. Eject the La Completa. Pop in the Odessio. Okay, and here it goes. And I know that I like this. Oops. I know that I like this with milk because I've had it before. I'm gonna throw some milk in there real quick. Hush, puppy.
So, you know, my philosophy in life is try new things. And, okay, hush puppy, we'll go in just a minute. And if you don't like them, maybe wait a bit and try them again a few more times. Well, you know, when it comes to food. If it's something like, let's say, bungee jumping, you know. Is that right, Grayson? Then maybe you might want to, after you try it once, you might want to give that a miss. I've got his leash up there. I gave, I washed it a little bit so it's drying. Did you finish your food, Grace? Oh, look at this. Look, you've got all this food on the floor. Here, take it. You're not going to finish your food? Oh, my goodness. We'll turn on some more lights. Okay, let me go get my coffee, okay? Okay. And we'll give this a little stir around. Every time I have a cup of Nespresso coffee, and no, I don't receive any benefits from them. Nobody pays me. Nobody sends me free coffee or merchandise or anything. I just share this with y'all because this is, this is my life. This is something good in my life, and I like to share it. You know, so other people can experience it too. Don't you like it when somebody shares something, you know, really neat with you that you're so glad to know about? So I'm going to give this a try. Because mm, I was going to say every time, hush puppy, every time I drink a cup of Nespresso coffee, It's, a, it's like a new experience. Because the coffee, the flavor of the coffee is so complex that every time I'm experiencing the, the interesting, here puppy, come here, the interesting different, I guess, notes, you know, we call them notes. Um, different tastes, and oh my gosh, I just really, really enjoy it because it not only tastes good, but it, it's an interesting experience. It really is. Okay, this fella, he's been patient. Grayson, do you want to go outside? Yes, I think you do. i take a couple of more sips here, and I better take this fella out. You know, when a dog's trying to tell you something, yes, it's good to listen. Mm. Do you want to go outside? I'll talk to you later. <laughs>